A Central Coast couple has been married for decades, but is forced to live apart in separate senior living centers. KSBY news reporter Asia Gore explains that they came together today for a very special Valentine's Day meal. Asia, this is quite the love story. That's right, Karina. For the past 14 years, this couple has been forced to live apart. But today they got together at Tahoe Joe's for a very special meal thanks to the generosity of people in our community. I'm thinking about that ice cream with, with, with the caramel. Love doesn't get much sweeter than this. <laughs> Debbie and her husband, Stephen Pryor, dig into a special Valentine's Day meal at Tahoe Joe's. After 45 years of marriage, it's still a tender experience. What do you want? I fall in love with him again every time I see him. This time is precious, not just because the priors are in love. That smile. Their time together is limited to just once a week. Debbie has lived at Mission View in San Luis Obispo for the past 14 years, ever since she suffered a traumatic brain injury. When time came for Stephen to enter assisted living, he tried to stay with his wife, but the center was full. They're looking for a room that's going to be open, you know. For the past two and a half years, the Priors have lived in separate senior centers, forced to use the county bus system to meet for lunch at McDonald's. Love isn't just for the youngsters. Tina Colbuck is known to many as the flower lady because she volunteers her time delivering flowers donated by Trader Joe's to local seniors like Debbie. Then last week I you know, asked her if she was looking forward to Valentine's Day and she said yes, she was going on a date with her husband to McDonald's. Colebook, moved by this story of separated soulmates, arranged a lunch here at Tahoe Joe's. This is really special. It's the marriage, not the meal, that brings these two together, but a full belly and full heart holds them over until next time. They're special, and we're not going to give them up. The San Luis Obispo Menu Club pitched in to make the meal possible today. The priors are help hopeful that they can soon be united at the Senior Center here in San Luis Obispo. Live and slow, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Yeah, hopefully they can be reunited permanently very soon. Thank you for that great story, Asia. The couple has three children together.